Okay folks, I'm going to show you how to install a map editor for GTA 5 PC. Now the main reason why I want to uh, use one of these is so I can load custom maps where people have made ramps, sky maps, um, custom homes, custom roads, arenas, anything that people are making. You can load them using this uh, editor. So. Links in the description, uh, gta5-mods.com forward slash scripts forward slash map dash editor. Again, link in the description, so you have to click it. Um, and that'll take you to the download page. Now, just before you install, there are some things you must do beforehand. Um, you must have in, uh, script 2 v installed. It says minimum version released on August 23rd. Obviously, make sure you've just got the most up-to-date version because otherwise, script 2 won't work at all. Um, secondly, you need to download and install Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2050 and X64. Um, click that, I'll take you to Microsoft's download page. Now if you've got Windows 10, um, well you'll, you'll still need to download this, but uh, which one is it now? Ah, it's when we come to native UI, so download this, install it. Um, and then you need to install script2.net 2.5.1 so again let's uh, go to this so gta5mods.com uh, search script hook net so where's it gone let's see Ooh. script script to v.net 2.5.1 there we go I'll put a link for that in the description as well um, so again for this install uh, .NET framework and the C++ redistributor which you're going to install anyway um, it says there do that again even if you already have them so just download them if it says you've got it then that's fine uh, so make sure you download everything that's in this installation um, so once you've downloaded the script to v you need to copy that into uh, let's go to the area so GTA folder script2.net ASI script2.net DLL is in um, the correct folder so let's just go back on here script2.net so we've got um, two files here so the ASI and the DLL make sure it's in your main directory okay so let's just go back to map mods so once you've got um, script2v.net installed um, we need to then download the latest native UI from here so again link will be in the description for this uh, download that that's a single file or it'll, it'll be in a folder but it's a single file in that I'll show you uh, native UI it's one it's a .dll and I'll show you where to install that in a second so once you download that now we need to uh, download the map editor itself and it says to move all the contents from the zip into your scripts directory if it doesn't exist create one so let's minimize this go to our GTA directory so okay if you haven't got a scripts folder create one remember it needs capital S there so in here I've got the watchdogs one already installed so what we've got to copy over native UI copy that in simple enough uh, in the map editor you're going to have how many files we've got here? 8 files ok you need to copy all of these into that same folder so I've already got one called nativeui.dll that's fine let's replace that ok might not come with, I think I might have put that one in beforehand but uh, just copy the entire contents over and the native UI so date modified for that one I seem to be on the same day ok so I don't think map editor does come with one I've accidentally got it in this folder for some reason so once you've got that installed you can go ahead close all these down and boot up GTA 5 okay so once you're inside GTA um, let's just check that our uh, script to work so we can load enhanced native training that's fine and to load up the uh, map editor you press F7 and you should see it pop up uh, enter exit map editor I don't want to do that I want to load a map so I'm going to use the arrow keys uh, the up down left right arrow not the deep not the numpad uh, to scroll up and down through the menus so I want to load a map press enter on the on the keyboard um, it's going to be an XML file arrow port oh, that's just the one I've got at the moment to test okay loading model you can see 
but it's loaded and something exploded so let's teleport to the airport because that's where it is so it's, it should have loaded a map anyway yeah, I can see here we've got some we've got a ramp there there's a, a jump set up here this is obviously just the map I've downloaded and I've put it into the air. I'll show you where to put the maps uh, to load in a second okay so uh, map mods I downloaded one called airport something something jumps this is the file this is the XML file let's have a quick look at the readme so obviously notepad um, English import the aeroporter one file located in the root folder of GTA G GTS GTA so you can see here this is the root folder this is where I've placed it this is where you pl place most of your map mods okay I was trying to figure a way to have uh, a folder inside scripts uh, called maps and it would load it from there but it might take a bit of tweaking of some files and I haven't quite figured that out yet so that's how you install a custom map editor in GTA 5